Hello guys and welcome to a new GTA Mayhem Challenge video! Yes guys, this is Chinatown Wars! Chinatown Wars is finally on my channel, I made a video on it, yay! <laughs> so this is the challenge submitted by Refat Gaming. thank you very much Refat Gaming for this idea! Let's start the challenge in 3, 2, 1, go! Let's start, let's do this crap! Alright, so this is Chinatown Wars, many people for, for years have said, hey bad infos, please play this game, please play Chanata Wars, it's the best game ever, please, please, oh please! Well, here we go guys, shut the flip up now! <laughs> no, I'm joking, you can, of course, if you have uh, your opinions, you want me to play it all the time, but um, I don't want to play it all the time, guys, I just decided to do a Mayhem Challenge on it, because I think it's a good game. Yeah, you haven't really heard my opinion on it, I have tweeted about it before, but never in a video. Well, I did I did include it in one video, in a Q&A video, I talked about it a little bit. I said it was okay, and honestly it's not great, it's just okay. Just like GTA 4. GTA 4 is a, an okay game, it's good. That's it, it's not amazing, I don't think it's amazing. For you it might be. For me it's just okay, it's a good game, guys. So I, I don't make many videos on it, and I will make a walkthrough on it in the future. A full-blown walkthrough, 100% walkthrough, I recently completed this game for the first time ever, and I had lots of fun actually with it. Some missions are incredibly difficult, some are very interesting, some are very boring of course, like every single GTA game has boring missions. And the police system is so unique, there's so many features in this game lacking from many other GTA games. It's so good, I like it, I like this game. So in the future I'll make a walkthrough and I'll make more Mayhem challenges. So guys, keep submitting Mayhem challenges on Chinatown Wars. In the future I will make more. Now all my submissions, all the submissions I have for this game are so difficult. They're difficult for me because I'm not that familiar with this game. Because I have played it only for a little bit, not much, and I'm not that familiar with the mechanics and the driving and the police systems and whatnot. Even though I did complete the whole game, I still I'm still a noob at it. So many of the challenges are difficult. I have like eight or nine submissions. And I tried maybe five of them before I stopped in this one. Because they really are difficult, guys. A lot. So you guys can submit challenges and I make pick your challenge, you just need to read the rules in the description. Make sure you read them before you submit anything. It doesn't matter which game it is on. Just mention the game in the comments. I have... this is... um, I think the 40... 8th challenge? So far? And it is the first Chinatown Wars challenge. And there will be more, I guarantee. Because I had fun. I completed this uh, challenge yesterday. And it was very good. So, Refat Gaming, uh, you have 5 steps. Which might seem easy, but no. No, no, no. Step number 4 is insane. So, I have to deal with dealers until cops notice me. Ok, they notice me. I have to get a 3 star wanted level with a Uzi. I have to cross the bridge of Algonquin and get 4 stars on my way. Ok, I got 4 stars. Now the next step is to start paramedic and save 3 patients. But look at what's happening. The, the cops are just killing themselves just like that. Bam! And destruction and destruction. Now, the way the system in Chantan Wars works is that if you... You can see mm, cop cars on the screen. If you have 3 stars and destroy 3 cop cars, the stars decrease by 1. If you have 4 stars and destroy 4 cars, they again decrease by 1. So they just continuously kill themselves which in turn decreases my stars. There's no rule against this, so I just went with it. 
I don't kill these cops on purpose. They just crash into me as I'm going to the location. So I hope you don't mind that I decreased my stars to two. I still get choppers and whatnot, so... Ugh. Yeah, it's still difficult, guys. Still difficult. A difficult challenge, an awesome challenge. This challenge is very good. Very good. I liked it a lot. I have, I think, 10 or so attempts. And I don't think I'll make a, a fails video because... It's not that uh, great to watch. I don't think the fails are that interesting. This is the hospital. I'm just circling around, waiting for an ambulance to spawn, but there's so many cops I can't just stop there. I cannot. Look at that. Whoa! Run away! The copper almost got me. Oh, that was so, so scary. This game could be a lot of fun sometimes, but sometimes it's pretty annoying. Overall, it's a good game. I enjoyed my time with it. I have two stars, but as you can see, I still have lots of cops. They're not exactly gone, the stars. There we go, this is the spawn location for the ambulance. I'm gonna take it. And go for the first patient. Let's activate the, the mission. This mission is a, little, a bit different than G the GTA 3 mission, for instance. You still have to save patients, but you have to keep them in tip-top shape. If you damage the car too much, they're gonna just... Uh, uh, not die, but... How can I say it? You have to revive them. Yeah. This is pretty much it. Right, so let's go here. Pick up this dude. This is the first guy. I have to save three people. And as you can see, I have one star by just going around. <laughs> and my cops are pretty much gone. I have four stars now. And uh, there's no rule against this, I repeat. So I hope you don't mind me losing my stars. But I'll try to, keep my, to get my stars back. I'll try. As you can see, I'm still killing people. I'm trying to get some stars back at least. I'm also trying to drive carefully so that uh, the patient does not die if he dies or he just stops breathing for a little bit. I have to revive them. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. This uh, is much more interesting than the other GTA games. The This mission. It is also a lot more difficult, because you don't get much time and they could die. But uh, it's a good mission, I like it. And unfortunately I killed my patient, <laughs> like because I'm a dummy. I actually killed him, which is unfortunate. I got my star back, which is good. I, I want my star back. And I killed this dude. It's okay though, it's okay, I'm just gonna get more patients. I have to save three whole patients, guys. And I have to die on Happiness Island. Yes, you heard me right, if you haven't played Chantan Wars before. This is GTA 4's city. This is Liberty City, guys. You have Happiness Island, you have Algonquin, you have Balkan, you have Broker, you have Dukes, you have all these cities. I don't think you have uh, Alderney City, though. You have only three islands, you're gonna see them later as I access my map. It's a little bit uh, smaller than the GTA 4 map, but it still has everything. For instance, you may recognize this uh, hospital. If you have died before in GTA 4, this is a pretty known hospital. There's a, an internet club next to it in GTA 4. Pretty cool, pretty cool. The game overall is good, and I like it. So thank you people for bringing this game to my attention again, for submitting so many challenges. I have 8 challenges or so. Did I mention this already? I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. For a majority of my videos I have no idea what I'm talking about. So I hope you excuse me. <laughs> okay, so this was the third patient. Awesome. I stopped the mission and I'll try to get my stars back still. Because I have to go to Happiness Island, this is the map, as you can see. Load. There we go, as you can see, this is how it looks. It has three major cities. 
And this is Happiness Island, I have to go all the way to it. I'll do just that. And I'll desperately try to get more stars. Because it's more fun with stars, guys. It's more fun with the police system. The police system is so unique here. I love it. It adds so much mayhem to everything. The game itself is top down, which is a, a big downside, I think. And look at that! <laughs> nice stunt, bro. Yeah, the, the top down view is not to my liking very much, but it's okay. It's still okay. It's still an okay game. I have two stars, so run away! Whoa, the coppers are so scary. And it's a lot more forgiving than many other GTA games. You'll see what I mean later. If you're on foot, it's a lot easier to kill people. Because you can see them from a distance. And if you have good weapons, like uh, an M4 for instance, it is very good. Bam! Whoa! Awesome! Run away! The coppers still get out of the car, by the way. After you destroy it. Also, as you can see, I still have pretty much all my health. Almost all my health. I still have it. I also got out as quick as possible because he was gonna bust my ass. I don't want him to bust my ass. That would be very bad. Still searching for cars. Still searching. Go, 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 dude. Yes, got a car. A Cogno Senti. I'll use this Cogno Senti to go to the Happiness Island dock, to the dock on this island, and from this dock I'll go to Happiness Island with the boat. And I have to die on Happiness Island. So let's go, this is the place. We have a boat all right over here. Let's take it and go to Happiness Island. Whee! Right, so far so awesome. <laughs> this challenge so far was so full of mayhem. And there's more mayhem, guys. Still trying to get my stars, but no, there's nobody to kill, unfortunately. So welcome, guys, to Happiness Island. This is a decent place. It's not used in the story, I don't remember it being used in the story. But it's a cool place. So, this step is die on Happiness Island. And I just said, eh, instead of just killing myself, just throwing a grenade or something, and just dying, I decided to do some more mayhem. I decided to kill people, to kill a bunch of people, get a bunch of stars, a bazillion stars, and see how much I can survive for. Because this challenge is pretty short anyway, so I said, hey, forget it, I'm just doing this. I'm gonna try to survive as much as possible, as long as possible. It's gonna be so cool, and it was so cool. Stop calling me asshole. Okay, three stars so far. And as you can see, my health is pretty much still full, which is awesome. And it's a good thing so many cops and pedestrians spawn here. It means that I can shoot, them, uh, shoot a lot of them. I have four stars. Awesome! As you can see, we have four cars to destroy. If you destroy four cars, the stars decrease. Then you have to destroy three cars, and then two cars, and then one car, and you're done. This is how we lose stars in this game. It's such an awesome system. I love it. Do you know what else I love? Refat Gaming for this submission, <laughs> thank you dude! You were not the first one I tried to do a challenge for. You were probably the fifth, sixth person. Because <laughs> the challenges are very difficult on this game. Five stars! As you can see guys, did, did you hear what I said a few minutes ago? I said that it's a lot easier to survive on foot. As you can see, I killed a bazillion people and I'm still alive. Actually, in GTA San Andreas it's a lot easier. If you have the minigun in San Andreas, it's oh, oh my goodness. It's so much easier to survive in San Andreas. I, I think at least... I mean, I have survived... I, I can survive behind the house for 
for two, three, four hours just staying in one place. Here it would be a little bit more difficult, I think. I'm not sure. But I hope you guys enjoyed this challenge. It was certainly awesome for me and it was the first ever for me. A first official recording of Chinatown Wars. And if you guys want to see more Chinatown Wars then let me know. Chinatown Wars could be the next walkthrough, it could be GTA 5 the next walkthrough. It is not decided yet. Destroy! Run away! Very good, very good. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. In 3, 2, 1... I'm going to... I'm going to... Come on! Die! Yes! Challenge complete! I hope you don't mind the changes I did. And of course I hope you didn't mind me shooting a bunch of people at the end as well. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for the submission. Keep submitting amazing challenges guys. And I'll see you in the next video.